What's up everyone, Sean Count Blagrith here today with a cassette, cassette collection duh, part two. Um, if you can hear what we're listening to in the background, it is Ankara, I think that's how you say it, with the Embers of the Stars, fantastic um, atmospheric black metal from the UK put out by Bind Rune Recordings. I will be making a bind rune video very soon. I tried to record it twice and it turned out like crap. So, um, yeah. Moving on, let's do these cassettes. Picking up where we left off. We have Cathedral with a Forest of Equilibrium. This is definitely a uh, classic doom metal album, if you're not familiar with it. It's, um,. Extremely good, classic, pro printed tape with a pretty big J card. Um, thing that I really like about these guys is it's uh, kind of like when I, when I first heard Candlemass, they didn't click with me because I really wanted them to sound like this. This is just incredibly slow, old school doom metal. Uh, definitely, you know, the St. Vitus, Black Sabbath sort of riffs, but um played at a much slower pace, just very thick, heavy riffs. Fucking killer shit. Next, we have Celtic Frost with the Almighty Morbid Tales EP. Jesus Christ. I love this. I absolutely love this. Um, one of the best EPs ever made in metal history, in my opinion. Um, so many fucking great songs. Very thrashy, kind of black and kind of death metal. It's a bit of a... I don't want to call it proto-black or proto-death or anything like that, because I feel like it's a really douchey, uh, pretentious term, but... It's definitely really different for its time, considering, you know, Venom was, like, hot shit then. And they're just shit, in my opinion. Um... This pretty much took that, like, Venom sound and made it better, in my opinion. It expanded on the Hellhammer tradition of simplistic, barbaric riffs, just fucking churning out very primitive stuff. This is a bit more, I don't want to say technical, but very straightforward, but much more competent musicianship, which also, and I just grabbed it again, leads into... Emperor's Return. Fucking love this. Um, so many great songs on this. Circle of the Tyrants, Dethroned Emperor, Visual Aggression. It doesn't get much better than this. A lot of people are bigger fans of Tomegatherian, but I feel like the first two EPs from Celtic Frost are really where it's at when it comes to early stuff, but don't get me wrong, I mean... Fucking love to Megatherian, but some about these first two EPs are just absolute classics. Next, we have some death metal from Finland. This is Convulse. I'm not gonna pretend to be someone I'm not. I got this in a uh, in a lot. It actually still had a has the original hype sticker, and I'm so glad someone saved that because I save all my hype stickers. I got this in a cassette lot, um, I want to say last year, maybe, um, and I've listened to it a couple times, it's really good, like, kind of melodic death metal with, like, an old school tinge, kind of, like, early amorphous shit, but, um, I haven't listened to it that much, so I can't give you, like, really too many recommendations from it other than, uh, I know, uh, the green is gray is pretty fucking sick, from what I remember. I have to listen to that sometime. Another one I haven't listened to in a while. Cult of Doth, and this is Under the Cover of Darkness. This is some great, great black and death metal shit from uh, Chicago. If you're really into black and death and you don't know uh, Cult of Doth, definitely listen to these guys. If you're a fan of... Uh, fog. 
somewhat black witchery, but more death metal. If you're into that stuff, maybe like pseudo god. These guys are definitely the shit. I don't know why they never really. They've been around for years. Um, I have no idea why they haven't, you know, made a bigger presence in the underground. But uh, still some good shit. We have some dark ambient from, uh, I believe it's Roman from Druk. This is Dark Ages with a Chronicle of the Plague. Pretty good stuff. Not what I listen to all the time, but um, definitely highly enjoyable. Some folk influence here and there. Uh, very primitive sounding, um, medieval sounding sort of stuff. Um, really enjoyable if you're in the mood for something that's just kind of relaxing and, and just to have there in the background. would highly recommend that. Next we got one of Hugh Morgan's mini projects. Uh, put out by Crawl Records, his own label. This is uh, Deathland with Witnessing the Battle. Uh, just a plain tape. This is kind of like a Winter Phyleth-esque atmospheric black metal, but it has uh, death metal vocals. I have number, I don't know if that'll show up, I got number 10 of 30. Very cool, I still listen to this quite a bit, very good stuff. I don't know if you'll be able to find anything of this online. If you can, definitely check it out. Um, if, and Hugh, if you end up seeing this, thank you so much, man. Next, we got an old school death metal classic, Deceased with Luck of the Corpse. Definitely a big fan of this. Just a fucking amazing album from start to finish. Has that? It's that thrashy old school death. Um, Death metal kind of reminds me in some ways some of the music of like Scream Bloody Gore and Autopsy esque at points. Nothing really special to see. I just love the way Relapse did the old cassettes with like the big name on the tape, just like they did for the uh, Convulse one. I really like that. But well, this is a fucking killer, killer album. Every song on this is fantastic. Uh, futuristic Doom. The cemetery's full, uh, psychedelic warriors feasting on skulls, birthed by radiation. Doesn't get much better than that. This one I haven't listened to in a while, but this is done by a YouTuber, Mr. Possessed by Fire Alex. Uh, it's his drone project called Delirium, with the demo 2013. Blue tape. I really like this, but I just, I'm not in the mood for drone, hardly ever. Uh, number 7 of 22. Good shit, but I'm just, I gotta be in the right mind frame for drone. Uh, next, this one's still sealed, because I have another copy in the other room. Um, deal with Acceptance Rebuild. Uh, first release through my record label was the vinyl version, and I got a bunch of tape ones for the pre-order package I did. If some of you guys uh, ordered that, thank you. That was fucking awesome of you. But uh, yeah, the cassette tape version of it. I believe it's like limited to 70 copies or something like that. I can't remember off the top of my head. Next, we've got three really good releases pressed on the worst tapes I've ever heard. Down 3 with Over the Under, Down 4 Part 1, Purple EP, and Down 4 Part 2. These are amazing, amazing releases of great sludge metal, but these tapes are packaged in these shitty O-cards. That's like all there is to it. Dub tapes with stickers, and they were dubbed at the wrong speed way too fast. I fucking hate these. So, I I don't even listen to them, but they're, I guess they're cool to collect. Next, we got The Drowning the Light Split with Evil from Brazil. This is uh, a reflection of the past and where the sun was never born. This is an amazing, amazing split from both bands. Drowning the Light, real, I really like, uh, but they're so hit or miss for me. Uh, he either writes stuff that's completely 100% on point and it's amazing, or it's just whatever. And this is some stuff of his that's very on point. Great old school style black metal. I uh, really like this inlay. Well, insert J card, whatever. Um, amazing songs from this uh, 
Reflection of, of the Past, uh, Tyrant of the Carpathians, Ode, uh, Blood for the Countess, Ode to Elizabeth Bathory, fucking great stuff. And then, of course, Evil I'm a huge fan of. And they just brought forth some straightforward, barbaric, raw as fuck black metal. No frills, no bullshit, just really good 90s inspired fucking black metal. Up next. Edge of Sanity. And this is the Spectral Sorrows. Excellent progressive technical death metal. Um, Dan Swano. I'm not a huge fan of everything of his, but I'm not one of those guys, but I really like this album a fucking lot. This is really the only Edge of Sanity I really like. Just some amazing riffs from beginning to end. This is a great, al um, great album. Favorite song, though? Sacrificed. It's the shit. If you haven't heard that, definitely fucking listen to it. Next, we have some symphonic black metal. No, it's not like Karak Angren or whatever the fuck. Uh, this is Elder Blood with uh, Son of the Morning. This is an amazing, amazing fucking album from the Ukraine. Uh, featuring former members of Nocturnal Mortem. So if you're into that sort of symphonic black, definitely for you. Dub tape with a uh, sticker. Looks very nice and professional. I got number 29 of 500. So a nice low number. That's pretty cool. Nice fold out J card. Yeah, this is just some really good, like, um, very evil sounding symphonic black metal. The keyboards are definitely not overdone or overbearing by any stretch of the imagination. Just some very solid, solid songwriting. Uh, vicious, straightforward black metal. Just some really good keyboards. Slightly reminiscent to early Emperor, but... You can make the comparison, but I mean, you just gotta hear it. It's really fucking good. Next, this album's fucking sick. Embrace of fucking thorns from Greece, and this is for I see death in their eyes. Vicious black and death metal from Greece. You, Jesus Christ! It does not get more evil, straightforward, and barbaric than this, other than like fucking blasphemy and beherit and shit like that. This is as like chaotic as you will get with just black death. Um before you step into like war metal fucking territory. Embrace of Thorns are just amazing. My favorite album of theirs is actually their newest one. I can't remember the name of it off the top of my head, but it is a great fucking album put out by Nuclear War Now. But this is incredibly solid. Definitely check out Embrace of Thorns. And the remainder of these tapes are all gonna be a, uh, the same band. Not a hell of a lot to say about them. Evil. Hate Spirit, excellent Brazilian fucking black metal, blank tape. Inlay, if you like your black metal raw, barbaric, sloppy, and just straightforward 90s worship, that's where this is at. And these guys have been around since the 90s, they just never really changed up their sound at all, they just really know how to write, uh, great black metal riffs with extremely lo-fi production. Uh, so that's their first full length, I believe. And then there's Depression and Mourning, which is a, another great demo compilation from them. Blank tape. Oh, shit. The ring fell off. Anyways, um... These guys are kind of sketchy, and SBM ties, but I don't give a fuck. Excellent fucking stuff, man. Um, God, if I was to recommend a place to start with Evil, it would be uh, the last tape I'm going to show. Their album Hammerstorm. It's definitely the more accessible material. But once you've heard one Evil release, for the most part you've heard them all, except for, do I have it here? Yeah, their newest album, uh, Ashes of Old, that's really fucking good. I feel like they changed up the formula just a little bit 
which is refreshing. Another blank tape. This is the Artoga EP. This was, uh, I believe, yeah, one of the first things I got of them. I got it for Christmas years ago. Very good shit. Yeah, this is actually the first thing I ever listened to of Evil. And, uh, highly enjoyed it. As I said, it's just that 90s style of fucking black metal that's been done to death, but it's so fucking good. Alright, next we got the Evil Split with Thallium and S-A-R. Um, so, the Evil tracks are off the Hammerstorm album, and uh, the Thallium tracks are actually from the Thallium album, and I'll talk about that one. And it's actually some of the same songs from another Evil and Thallium split, and I'll explain that in a second. Uh, SAR stands for Southern Aryan Response, and they're just fucking okay <laughs> at most. It's that kind of NSBM where it's like they've listened to way too much RAC punk and uh, tried to incorporate that into black metal. I mean, they even did a Brutal Attack cover on here, and it's just hilarious. It's so bad, but... Uh, the Evil and Thallium stuff's good, and I got it for the collection because I want to have everything I possibly can of Evil. But, uh, still definitely an enjoyable listen from beginning to end. It's just one of those kind of background splits. This one is extremely solid, though. The Evil Split with Lechia. Lechia is a uh, pagan NSBM band from Poland, and they write some very good kind of folky stuff. And this split is incredible. So dub tape with a sticker. I think it looks like an ominous domain one, but I got it from Winter Solace. Yeah, it's just uh, two tracks from uh, each band. Uh, the evil side definitely takes steals the show. I mean, the fucking songs. Uh, Wotan, Rendivirus, and uh, Wood Spirit. Fucking incredible. Lechio, once again, just kind of okay. Nothing that I would really, you know, go ape shit over. Maybe one day they'll click with me more, but until then, Evil Side will always reign supreme. Now, Evil Split with Thallium called Of Winter Woods. This was another one of the first tapes I got for Christmas of, uh, Evil. And, essentially, if you have the album from Thallium and the, uh, album from, uh, Evil, you have this split, basically. It's just, like, what, fucking... Two songs from, uh, Evil, which are off the, uh, Hammerstorm album, and two songs, and one song from uh, Thallium on the, uh, their album. But this split is just fucking great, though. They picked some of the best songs off both bands' albums. And it's just a nice collectible thing to have if you're into the, these bands, and I just love that artwork. Just kind of funny, considering they're from Brazil, and they've probably never experienced snow. <laughs> but, good shit. Next we have... Evil with Raw Coldness. Uh, this is another demo compilation. This is some of the more later demos. Blank tape. Good shit, but what you what you see is what you get with these guys. If you're not into that primitive 90s style black metal, you're not gonna dig this. But if you are give us a listen it's some good shit and the last tape I'm gonna show if I can get this one back on the show is uh, Hammerstorm from Evil this is the first full length of theirs I got and I also got at the same time as the Artaga EP and the of Winterwood split blank tape this would be the place to start with Evil, unless you want to hear their newest album, which I would definitely recommend, uh, Ashes of Old. But this is just a really good place to start. Very, uh, 
good straightforward black model with some pagan influences scattered about here and there. Really enjoy the artwork and I think this is a cool picture. There's just not a lot to say about these guys. I just really love their old school uh, black metal fucking style. Definitely a personal favorite of mine and highly recommended. But uh, that's it for the old cassette collection for part two. I'll start part three um, pretty soon. Because I'm just going by the segments on my shelf. Um, but, yeah, that's it, guys. Um, I'm going to go to bed because it is almost 4 in the morning. So, uh, talk to you guys later. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you for subscribing. And as always, keep it metal.